We implement dimension right back when we want to give users the ability to add new members to the dimension without requiring them to add it to the source application. We can use security to control who can use this feature as we'll see in a separate module later in this course. A common reason to do this is when there really isn't a source application that maintains the members, such as the scenario dimension. In the data warehouse, we might have a dimension like this where we preload it with members, but we don't really have a regular extract, transform, and load process to continually add members to this dimension over time. The AdventureWorks dimension has only three members to start, actual, budget, and forecast. When we want to implement dimension write back, we need to modify the dimension design. Specifically, we need to change the write enabled property from its default value of false to true, and then we need to deploy the change. If users are working with an application that supports dimension write back, they can now add members as needed. In the next demonstration, we'll add a new member with bids called Budget Revision 1. All we need to do is add the name of the member. Analysis Services assigns the key value and updates the dimension store on the server as well as the source table. However, if we have a separate source table that we use during extract, transform, and load processing to load the dimension table, there's no built-in mechanism to load that original source. We need to build our own process if we want to keep the source synchronized with the data warehouse.